So here we have a machine uh, that is sucking mud up. So I guess one way to visualize the scene uh, would be you have a pile of mud here, and then there is some machine that is going to be sucking that mud upwards. And the way machines like this work is uh, they reduce the internal pressure inside the machine so that the atmospheric pressure from outside, from the atmosphere, pushes down on the mud and pushes up into the tube. That's how things like straws work. Now we want to find the amount of pressure that such a machine will have to produce. And now because this effect is the result of a pressure difference between the atmospheric pressure and the internal pressure of the machine, we want to find a gauge pressure here. And we'll just use the, the standard gauge pressure formula where uh, the gauge pressure is equal to um, the density times g times uh, some difference in height. However, this case is slightly different. Because the atmospheric pressure is pushing on the mud, because the internal pressure of the machine is less than the atmospheric pressure, our gauge pressure in this case actually should be negative. Because remember what the definition of gauge pressure actually is. It's uh, pressure if that value of pressure was set to zero at the atmospheric pressure. Or one way to say that is gauge pressure is pressure that is zero referenced at atmospheric pressure. So if our pressure is less than the atmospheric pressure, then intuitively it seems like that pressure should actually be negative. And uh, intuitively that makes sense. And this also makes sense with the way this formula was derived in the first place. Because uh, that formula was originally derived un with the understanding that uh, we have pressure pushing down on a point with gravity. And we have a, a point in a fluid that is being weighed down on it from the fluid above. But in this particular case, that, uh, that depth value here is going to be basically negative. Since now we have a case where uh, some fluid is being pushed up against gravity. So it does make sense to think that this value should be negative. So let's plug that in then. where in this case our height value will be negative. So now let's plug in the values we're given. And we get an answer of negative 2.6 times 10 to the fourth power of Pascal's.